Okay, let me just show you another more interesting example uh, with what we can do with this uh, step FPGA board. So you notice that this is, uh, is a module called Simple Piano. This is an example uh, which you can find in our uh, tutorial book, chapter five. So basically we are trying to uh, generate the DDS signal that kind of uh, simulate the sound of an electric, uh, electronic piano board. Uh, so this is a code. You can find the detailed explanations and some, you know, some codings uh, in the tutorial book. So I'm not gonna explain it here. Uh, so let's just go with the uh, logic synthesis. Okay, success. Uh, so the pin assignment for the next step. As you notice that uh, uh, this uh, step FPGA board has been plugged onto the breadboard. Uh, We're basically using the external GPIOs. Uh, it has 36 GPIOs on this board. So instead of using the internal, oh, by the way, we have to assign the uh, internal clock pins because the, it uses the system 12 megahertz system clock. And for the rest of the pins, we just go to the external. Uh, these pins are already uh, pre-assigned. You notice that all of these, uh, uh, you know, the GPIOs have been assigned to control uh, or connected all of these uh, keyboard pins, right? These keyboard pins have been configured as a pull-up structure. Um, and also we have a 10-bit di uh, digital to analog converter that converts the 10-bit uh, digital signal into analog output. So it has an analog pin. So if you take out this pin and it generates the, uh, you know, whatever you design the digital signal into a very high and a smooth analog outputs. And this one, if you want to hear the sound, it connects, this, uh, connects to this uh, speaker module. Uh, all of these are included in, in one or two pledges of, uh, of the campaign page. Um, okay, let's just do the FPGA mapping, uh, which converts uh, what we have been doing into implementation executable files. Uh, it takes probably, uh, you know, 15 seconds because we got, uh, we got 300 or, or even more lines of code. Um, yeah, just bear with me. Okay, finally, we got uh, everything uh, built up. Now it's time to just burn that program into the FPG board and we'll see what happens. Okay, so find this uh, step link flash drive and download it. Hey, I got the program burned into my board already. Uh, now uh, you see I'm taking off my USB cable because I'm using an independent power supply to power it up. Uh, you notice that if I press the key, it generates a sound, which is, which is like a quite different from what you hear from a buzzer because uh, basically you, you drive a buzzer with, uh, you know, with uh, uh, square waves that can generate a lot of harmonics. Uh, but now I'm, I'm actually using a DDS signal generating sinusoidal waves uh, so you can hear the sound is actually uh, more clear if you will say that. So let me just see if I can get some music out of it. Uh, well, well, just say I'm not a pianist, so just bear with my poor skills. Bad. I, I cannot memorize. <laughs> yeah, I got that play. Anyway, yeah, you see my you see my point, right? You can actually uh, you, with this uh, gadgets and uh, build some cool stuff. 
based on because you know uh, based on your your design because you know FPGA is as what I mentioned is customizable chip that allows you to you know achieve any digital functions right so all of these modules have been included in uh, one or two of the pledges options uh, so you can see for the details okay I wish you like this project and I do encourage you here to get a set of this FPGA board and start your journey right now